The Warren Civic Music Association has brought 78 years worth of entertainment to the Valley. All of our shows have been here at the Packard Music Hall since it opened in 1955. We'll tell you about their 2018-2019 season in our After Hours Report. After Hours is sponsored by the Timberlands Complex. Head out to Packard Music Hall on Tuesday, October 16th for a Neil Diamond tribute concert starring Keith Allen presented by the Warren Civic Music Association. Sing it if you know it loud and proud, sweet Caroline. Good time never seems so good. He's going to be putting on our second show of the 2018-19 season. Neil and his five-piece band are going to be performing all of the hits of Neil Diamond. I saw Keith Allen perform when he was in Branson, and he's very good, and that's why we are bringing him here to Warren. Doors open at 6.15 p.m. with the show starting at 7. Tickets are all open seating and are $40 each. The Warren Civic Music Association is currently celebrating 78 years of bringing more than 400 performances of all kinds to Warren. Ellie Monchak is Artist Selection Chairperson. We are a nonprofit, all volunteer organization, and our goal is to bring the very best quality entertainment of different genres at the most affordable prices to our community. After the Neil Diamond Tribute Concert, there are still four more shows left in the season to enjoy. Farewell Angelina, and they're a group of four country female artists. They're different from what you normally see. They do a lot of songwriting and pop songs along with their country. Our December show is Andy Cooney. He is um, a singing sensation, sells out Carnegie Hall every year, but this time he's going to be bringing his Christmas show, and together with his Irish band and dancers. We're also going to have some local tap dancers from the Burke School of Dancing in Youngstown. When we come back in March, we have Vanessa Fuego. It's going to be Mediterranean dancing and about five or six different genres uh, of dance. So it's quite a spectacular show with lots of costumes and and music. The way you move and makes me holler. Louis Prima Jr. and the Witnesses will wind up our season. The evening's just going to be a finger snapping, toe tapping evening. It should be a joyous evening for all to enjoy. You can find out more information at warrencivicmusic.com. We have a wonderful lineup of shows, and there's a lot of entertainment that I think the people will really enjoy. So come on out and see us. Now here are some other events happening this weekend. The final Mission Night Market of the season takes place this Friday from 6 to 10 p.m. at Huntington Place Plaza in Boardman. Join in on the celebration of culture, community, and connection with proceeds to benefit the rescue mission of the Mahoning Valley. The final Mission Night Market will be followed by the summer's final Youngstown Flea Market for Makers. Market hours are 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 110 Freeman Alley next to the Cavelli Center. The local and regional vendors are selected for having a true passion for creating. Head to the Shaker Woods grounds in Columbiana for old-fashioned Christmas in the Woods this Saturday and Sunday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The woods will be transformed into a holiday wonderland with craftspeople demonstrating their unique skills. If you can't make it out this weekend, Christmas in the Woods will also be happening on October 20th and 21st at the same time. The ghosts of the past come out to tell their stories at the annual Warren Ghost Walk this Friday and Saturday from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Tours begin at First Presbyterian Church. Tickets are $9 for adults and $5 for children. The Ghost Walk will also continue next weekend on October 19th and 20th. The Apple Castle in New Wilmington presents their 36th annual Fall Harvest Festival and Craft Fair, Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Enjoy over 70 crafters, live entertainment, hay rides, apple and pumpkin picking, and much more. For this week's After Hours Report, I'm Maggie Young.